this time of the year, late summer, mid to late summer, you're gonna find a lot of weeds popping up in your yard. Some of them can be a real problem. So I've decided to make this series of videos on weeds. I've chosen five. Two of them are annuals, Lespedeza and Chamber Bitter, and three of them are perennials, and those are Kylanga, Florida Betony, and Virginia Buttonweed. Today we're going to talk about Lespedeza, and Lespedeza shows up this time of the year, and it'll show up as a clump in your yard. Lespedeza, as we showed, is a clumping weed, and it is characterized by several several features. One of the characteristics of Lespedeza are these small groups of three leaves. They're oblong, and they have parallel veins. They also, Lespedeza will send up this pink to purple flower. And this time of the year, later in the season, as it matures, the stems of Lespedeza will get quite woody, and it is characterized by this long taproot. This time of the year, you have to use a post-emergent herbicide to control Lespedeza. You can use several, any of the Sulfani Luria herbicides will work, or you can use one of the three-way herbicides, that's a 2,4-D, Dicomba, and Mecoprop, like weed free zone. So the way you treat it, is you simply spray the weed directly. You don't have to soak it. You just have to cover it. And you need to use some sort of a ionic surfactant to help it stick. So we'll come back in a couple of days and see how good a job we did on this post-emergent treatment of Lespedeza. We spot sprayed this area of the yard a few days ago with weed free zone. We sprayed the Lespedeza. And if you take a look at some of these patches down here, you can see that it's doing a really good job of knocking down the Lespedeza. You can see it's turning brown. We got a little yellow coloring in the grass, but the grass will come back up out of that. So we could have had even more control over the Lespedeza had we applied a pre-emergent herbicide that came, contained at the offer back in the spring, something like Dimension. The herbicides that I'm recommending in this series as we talk about weeds are all available locally and they are pesticide or they are herbicides that you do not require a pesticide license to purchase or use. And they are all labeled for use on all four of the warm season grasses, Bermuda, Centipede, St. Augustine, and Zoysia. That comment, however, does not remove your responsibility for reading the label. And Dimension gives you a good example of why that's so important. Dimension, as you read the label, will specify that it can be used on all four of the warm season grasses. And a few lines later, it says, however, do not apply to Bermuda Tiff Green 328. It will cause severe damage. Read the label. Read the entire label. It will save you a lot of grief. This information will help you deal with Lespedeza if you have it in your yard. I hope you'll join me for our next walk, and until then, go pack.